Today we will be looking at the Pythagorean Theorem, first, second, and third presentations. These presentations should be given to the child shortly after they have completed their work with the constructive triangles and discovering relationships between the triangles. This is the inset for the first presentation. When we show the child this inset, through questioning or through discussion, we come to the conclusion that all of the triangles on here are right-angled isosceles triangles. The yellow square and the blue square are superimposed to show congruency. The blue square, yellow square, and red square, along with the blue triangles, yellow triangles, and red triangles, are transposed in the frame to show equivalence. Then, all of the triangles are superimposed on each other to show congruency. The child removes the red triangles and replaces them with the blue triangles and the yellow triangles. The red triangles are then put into the places where the yellow and the blue triangles were. We then work with the child to come to the conclusion that the red square is equal to the yellow square and the blue square put together. Finally, we show the child that the sides of each square are equal to a side of the right isosceles triangle in the center. If the child chooses, they may write their conclusions in their notebook. This ends the first presentation of the Pythagorean Theorem.